schedule an event. Where's the friggin' chat? Let's uh, redo the chat. Right now, create event. This is uh, really good because there's just no music on the title screen at all, and it doesn't do a like there's no cutscene, and it doesn't cut to any animations like from the game. Like normally, what happens is it will cut to a couple of battle scenes, so you see that if you wait at the menu screen for too long. But uh, this just doesn't. It just goes, oh, here you are, back at this, and even if you're hitting buttons, going through the menu. It'll go through to it, like back to it again. It's like, oh. Piece of shit. How did Diamond come here? How are you doing? Okay, are we, are we, are we good? Are we good for the Ren Goku, which is the continuous prison? Jigoku was time prison, but also hell. And Tengoku is heaven prison. And this is the continuous prison. But see that? Like you had no time at all. Anyway, let's hit the button. Anyway, this is the same little opening thing that we've had in like the previous ones. There were multiple worlds, multiple dimensions, and they all got mashed together in a huge cataclysm and it sucks. I sound I sound low, I'm quiet. I'm quiet, I can up me. But yeah, there's the uh, there's the multiple dimensions where all the different animes lived, and then a bomb went off that mashed it all up together, and oh, everybody had a bad time and fought each other, and wanted control over this new combined world, and then it all got sorted out, and then another thing happened, and it all got mashed up together again, and that was the ADW, it was the UCW, the Universal Century World, and then there was the ADW, the whatever that stands for world. And that was Z2. And it was like, oh god, why can't the worlds just stop getting all mashed up together? And then it got mashed up a third time. And that's Jigoku, which is the game we just played. And now we're seeing what happens on the green earth. Because when there was the split and the combination. There was the blue earth, which is the one that we have lived on, that they were going to put in the prison. And there's also the green earth. But what the hell's been happening on the green earth? What's Advent Steel? Because he's been able to go as he pleases, in and out of the prison and the, across dimensions. And where the hell have Ran, Setsuko and Crow been? Let's find out. Ran, Setsuko and Crow are the main characters from the previous games in the series, the original ones. And this is uh, Scenario 1, The Green Earth. Wing. Here's Advent. He's alright. He's a pretty fancy fella. 
He's got a buddy with him. And his buddy's name is Blue. Uh, it's... Yeah, Baudu. Um, so, Advent can teleport whenever the hell he wants. Uh, he can ignore the time prison effect and go across dimensions. That's part of his thing and have a good time. Um, like he's just that powerful. His squad mate, however, is surprised. He's like, oh, wow, this isn't the blue earth that I'm used to inside the prison. This is a green earth. And uh, Advent says that neither Chrono um, nor Geminus can like come here. And that means that Blue doesn't have to camouflage his mech to look like Advent's robot. He can uh, just uh, go back to looking however he wants. Um, and it's like... But what's the deal, Advent? Why are you doing this? Why are you swinging the power balance of uh, Chrono in favour of uh, revolution rather than the Conservatives who want to lock the world away? Well, maybe we'll find out in the next 15 scenarios. But now he's here, he talks about Geminis. Genesis, uh, the Ge Genesis, the Geminis faction are one faction of many in Sidereal, the overall um, thing. And uh, they're mostly all on Advent shit list and he hates them. And uh, the guy who uh, leaves, is co he was code blue. And he's like, I don't really understand what it is, but I just got to help you, mysterious boss man. But whoever the, like, Geminis and everybody inside are all there against human evolution and progress. And that's why Advan is like, no, humans be allowed to, should be able to do whatever the heck they want. And uh, unlike uh, the Blue Earth, this Green Earth lacks a central government. So uh, that's going to be easy for... Oh, he didn't leave, he just unfancied himself. Um, and that means that... Yeah, Cold Blue... Um, and that means that because it's just all separate nations, Sidereal can jump to uh, one nation state at a time and flip everything over one at a time. And uh, they've got an interstellar alliance, so they've got a like huge skill base to draw from. And uh, even uh, two robots as might is this won't be enough to stem the tide, though. And uh, dealing with Sidereal, and that's where the Sphere Reactors come in. And a few of them are scattered on this world, so come on in. Oh, great. Brilliant. Brilliant. Geminis. Well, they're part of Sidereal. Let's fuck them up, Blue. Roger. Let's go, Sidereal. Okay, Sidereal. Uh, defeat all enemies in three turns. Advent must also have five kills. Okay, well, we can't, like, level him up or anything, so... I hope this is going to work. And ooh, this is going to be rough getting these guys down here. In the corner, so I gotta send like the two dudes off into the corners. Ooh, I really don't like that at all, but sure. Advent definitely can't be a pretty villain. He's too much for a pretty boy. How are you doing, Spammy Goat's face, man? Beast Baron, everybody's coming in. Oh, well, at least he's good. What other attacks does he have? Some stupid garbage. Uh, blade. No, I've actually got things. For the guy finished all of Rengoku for the pre mission dialogues. Uh, if these men are the same as uh, Geminis, then I won't hesitate to fight. We will watch over our blue world. Owie. 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 Everyone flies. Fuck the ocean, to be fair. Fuck the ocean. <laughs> fuck you. How about... Nay, fuck you. Just gonna teleport this mega buster cannon. Oh, and then you plug into it like a Huckabee. Okay, I get it. Oh, and then you plug in. You crack a hole in the dimension and plug in. Okay, that's pretty good. Shoot.
pretty good, Blue. Pretty good. Okay. Then the advent is side drill. I refuse to tolerate your existence. Pay for your sins, foolish, powerless zealots. Wow. Wow. Oof. 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 Good advent, chill out. <laughs> Sunrise doesn't want me to use the H word. Well, luckily, they're not the boss of me. Hopefully the audio sync is fine. I had to change it to only one second. Scramble edge. Go! Advent, why were you never this cool in the actual game? What was that about, buddy? The numbers are all weird. I don't like the numbers are weird. It's all changed. It's just different. <laughs> Who is Advent's point attack there? Advent. Super Robot Wars. I'm pretty sure it might be. No, I don't need that. I don't need that, dude. I don't need... Junichi Suave. It's Advent. He's greeding for the oh, alchemist. He's... He's uh, Miran Frode in the Legend of the Legendary Heroes. Yeah, oh, he's Sherlock Holmes in Milky Holmes. He's Rakpal Famil in Age. Oh, he's uh, Terence Starby in uh, Jojo. The worst derby. He's Yasha in a Sword of Wrath, but nobody played the dub of that. This uh, the original the FNA stub. He's Theodore in Persona 3 and Q. Oh, he's uh, Vega in Street Fighter 4. Oh, he's Grimjol in Bleach too, and we're not gonna find out who. Like, we're not gonna get Blue, are we? He's not gonna tell. No, he likes. If we don't get Blue, he's not good enough for us to find out who he is. Oh, here's a picture of Shiva as Nabu. Okay, buddy. You don't have hit in a way or anything, do you? Nope. They're just weird numbers, aren't they? Sorry about it. What's wrong? Does Blue have hit on away? Of course he doesn't. Of course he doesn't, why would he? Ugh, I really don't enjoy that at all, but I gotta do that.
Do you think that can do it, though, buddy? But in chronologically, this happens before three part one, before Jigoku Hen. Like it ends. I I, I believe this game ends just as like it starts before the events and then it ends just as the prison breaks maybe oh if you decided that's gonna work you don't have to make your robot look all shiny and cool and fancy like my custom unit okay it, it just goes ever so it just goes darker Blue actually sounds a little bit like Kibiki. Don't do better than that, buddy. Sure thing, buddy. Okay, well, how many kills? Okay, so he's not gonna get the five, which sucks and stinks. But what are you gonna do, eh? So we missed out on the first thing, the first SR point, because the guy that was here went to attack Blue instead of attacking Advent. Is pretty much why we're not getting that. That's fine. Whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Warrior of Zyreal, uh, you're going down. Cross combat? Wow! You know the cross combat maneuver from W. Makes you think. So we got a cartridge and a repair kit out of that, I believe. This is DLC, it was the download only thing that you gotta go for in the first run of the thing. Yeah, like the numbers aren't super brilliant. Like, the blue is fine on the left for me, but wh like where it has the white bits sometime, like that just disappears into the background. But anyway, yeah, we gotta go find us some sphere reactors. Let's go. Yeah, so side reel, they're gonna do all the things, blah blah blah, it sucks, who cares, whatever, Geminis are garbage, they're part of side reel, we covered all this, let's go find the sphere reactors, there he mentioned, he just said, sphere reactors! And here we are, and items, oh yeah, so, repair, and uh, the energy recovery thing, but I mean, yeah, and this dude needs the energy, because he got mega bopped, oh wow, look at that, can't do shit, who would have thought, 250? That's basically that on both of them. Well, on him, because he can't afford it. Oh, and he's also already got it, so that's fine. And then upgrade wise, boop, 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 boop. Wow. I guess that's it. I guess that's all we're doing. 
So his thing is just worse, like way worse at dodging. It's just worse in every way. So he's the Aslepus, and then his is like the mass-produced Aslepus. It's just mad. So I guess I'll do that and that on him to make him as good as our good friend. Let's go. So here we are learning about the resistance. Who are fighting side real, I guess. And they're in the Oh no, okay, so this is the resistance. This is uh, the first town we're gonna get to see, and they're overrun by aliens, and uh, they're like they're so strong and like it's unbelievable and what do they even want? And these dudes either have to choose between running like cowards or suiciding into the aliens to try and buy a little bit more time for everybody else to run away. Uh, the, the Blue Earth pulled together in the wake of the quake and the invasion, but in this world everybody just went, fuck it, let's go for uh, everyone for themselves, and it went all bad. And then one soldier is going to mention. There you go. Uh, he's like, Ima imagine if Zeus were here to pull off another miracle. And he's like, oh yeah, these are the guys of the the first world. And the other dude's like, oh, I imagine if Zexus were here, they'd be pretty good too. Um, but unfortunately, whoops. Uh, so the option is for these guys is the fight they're guaranteed to lose or run away like cowards. But luckily this mystery person comes in and is like, you guys should run. If anyone's going to die, it's going to be me. I'm the only one dying here. And it's Setsuka. The Sorrowful Maiden. Uh, she's the sphere reactor of the sphere of Virgo, the Sorrowful Maiden, where it gets its power from the more miserable she is. And, uh, yeah, but she's the ace of the squad, and she's like, guys, you guys should just get out. It's fine. I'll do with it. The bad guys, unfortunately, are going to start attacking. There you go. We're under attack. Whoa, watch out. Shit, we got to go. And she's like, no, just get out of here. And unfortunately, we haven't had enough time to patch the robot up, so she's going to have to be in and something a little not so good. And this is Scenario 2, uh, The Maiden's Prayer. And there's the bad dudes. Like, shit. If it sits goes out there, but what are you going to do? It's like, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, Setsuko's not an idiot, and between the three options of her friends dying, her dying, or none of them dying, she's definitely going for the option number three on this, because of uh, her pride as a member of the Glory Stars, which was the little combat group she was in in Z1, and uh, she's going to fight her dangdest. But unfortunately, yeah, so here you go, she's going to tackle it alone. And I can't let any of the enemies cross that line, apparently. So. And the SR point for this stage is... Uh, do not let enemies cross the line of defense for four turns. This, yeah, this doesn't have a problem. Let's go. Gonna say here. Uh, so internally, she's like Chief Toby, which was uh, team members that 
uh, Asakim killed in Z1. Uh, I'm sure you're fighting out there somewhere. Oh no, uh, yeah. I'm sure you're fighting out there somewhere, so I'll do the same, even without the Vergola, as long as the pride of the glory stars remains within me. So maybe Chief and Toby weren't the ones who died. I'm pretty sure they were. Did they get resurrected at the end? Something shitty happened. But yeah, so she's just in this weird mass-produced thing of this world. Is it just me or is the audio really delayed on these guys? Like on the voice lines. No. Oh no, like it's super delayed. That's super delayed. That's really fucked up for me. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's like 15 seconds delay for me? I don't like that at all. Okay, I'll tell you when Setsuko interacts with this attack. Okay, she just dodged the attack, and now I'll tell you when I get it on the the part on the other thing. Okay, it's shooting, and then she dodged. Like that's fucking huge, considering it was like 1.6 seconds before. And when I did the recording test, it was a second? Something's gone weird there, right? Holy, I don't understand that at all. That's, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna unplug the thing and plug it back in, because that's actually awful. Okay, well now it's just decided that it's like, nah, I'm not gonna get any connection through at all. Has XBit crashed? <laughs> 